Hello friends, in this tutorial I am going to talk about how to set up DB2 HADR TSA but in this case set up high availability on one node. So this is, we are not going to use HADR here. This will be a standalone instance and under standalone instance we are going to set up the TSA, HADR TSA. TSA stands for Tivoli System Automation. So we are going to, using this particular technology, we are going to set up the HA on single node. Now, what is the purpose of setting this? So if instance goes down, then this particular mechanism is going to bring that instance up without manual intervention. So the TSA software is going to take care of bringing the instance up. To do that, what I have done already is I have got DB2 installed. So I have installed DB2. It is a standalone DB2 instance, no HADR involved. And there is a database called HADB, which is in the standalone instance. So that has been done. So I'll show you this. So right now, what I'll do is I'll run this all commands together. So you see, I have got one instance. This has got, it is up and running and the database is active. So this is the database, which is active. The instance is up and running and without that, the database cannot be active. So the database is active. The instance is run, up and running. Uh, when I ran the, for this particular database, I ran the HDR information. It is not there, neither it is active and current role for HADB is it is standard. So the database is not in HADR mode. It is a standalone instance and there is one database which is HADB. And right now, if I show you LSM, then no resource groups are defined, which means TSA is not enabled right now. So TSA, the software is installed, but the TSA is not enabled as of now. So what I have done is I have set up this particular file. So this particular file is what I will be using to set up my TSA. So what I'm saying, create a domain called tb 2 ha domain and add quorum device network with this particular IP. So I'm creating network as a quorum and this is my domain. Then I'm using at one as my public network and at two at zero as my private network. <coughs> Sorry. And then I'm adding this particular node as my cluster node. So here, this particular current node is, is acting as a cluster node. And then I am saying add instance with DB partition number zero. So basically node zero as my uh, HA instance. And then I'm trying to add this particular database. This particular statement will fail, but leave it. It's, it's not important. So I'll repeat what I have done here. I'm set, saying I want to create a domain and I'm going to use the network as a quorum at one as my public, at zero as my private, the node which is going to be participating in my this domain is db3 and the instance is db2p. So that's the instance. So db2p is my instance which is and node zero. So if you see here, it says the node zero. So db partition num is zero. So using this particular file, we are going to create our uh, cluster. There is one more way to do this is we can run db2 high q in the interactive way. So I could press db2 high q and then it will ask us all of this. So create a domain. Yes. So I had to go through, through these options manually. But instead of doing this manually, I have set up this particular file. Now question is this particular file looks pretty peculiar and from where to get this particular file. So this particular file is pre-provided and I have just edited it. So if I go under CD under the home db2p that's the home then under that SQL lib under that samples under that HA under that XML and if I do ls minus L this is the file that I have used. This is the file that I've used so I can do the cat on that particular file and you see you see exactly same. So here the quorum, the db2ha domain, my uh, public network, my private network. So this is the file that I've used and I have customized that file based on my environment. So according to my environment, I set up my IP addresses, then the name of the instance, node, name of the instance. So this is the file. I'll repeat where will you find that particular file. It is under home directory SQL lib samples ha xml copy that particular file and the file that i've used is this particular file i've copied this particular file and edited it so this the command that i'm going to run is pretty simple 
the the command that I'm going to run is one simple command called db2haicu. So I'll show you again. My instance is up and running. My database is up and running. So my instance is up and running. My database is up and running. And command and lsm is not active. So no TSA is set up. So now what I'll do is I will run db2 haiku utility with file. So I'm specifying the file and I'm saying I want to use this particular file. So once <coughs> sorry, once I use this particular file is going to create. So let's do it. So it's going to create this particular domain, which is the first step. So it's going to create this domain. Then it's going to add this network. Once it adds, adds this network, then it's going to add this IP into public network, add this particular IP or add at one into public add at zero into private and it's going to set up this particular cluster node and then it's going to set up this particular instance so let's see so it has created the domain so once it creates the domain once it creates the domain the next step that is going to do is it's going to uh, create the quorum once it creates the quorum is going to add at one into okay so domain now it has added at one at zero it has added the partition zero to the cluster and the last statement is going to fail i said the last statement is going to fail so leave it it's not important ignore that failure okay so now that this is done so now what i'll do now the key here you see lsm was showing no resource group defined or cluster is offline now I will run the same LSM command again and you see we have got this. So basically our uh, our TSA was successful. Now what I'll do is let me show you. Okay, instead of typing, let me copy the command. So my database is active, my instance is active. For some reason, somebody killed the db2cc process or something happened and db2cc process got crashed. So in this case, what our TSA is going to do is it's going to bring the, the, the instance up and it's going to activate our database. So let's see that. Okay, so let's see that. So now we have got databases also active and the instance is also up and running. So let's kill our db2cc process. Once that is done, let's see LSM output. So it is online, so it has not at taken. So let's give it a minute and let's give LSM again. So you see, it has detected that it has failed and it is trying to pending online. So it's trying to bring it online. So now if I do it again, okay, it has brought it online. But what I should have shown you is like, I should, okay, let me do it all over again. Okay, so that's the process and we are able to, our database is active. So this time around, I'll not show you LSM output. What I'll do is I will kill my process and do db2 list active database. Okay, so db2 is no, instance is not up and running. Okay, so you see the process that I killed, the db2 cc process was 22571. A new process came up 23600. And now here it said db2 list active databases no start database now let me do this and the database is also active so who is playing this so this is our db2 haiku tsa setup that is doing it and it if you see how i set set up this particular thing is i only set up this particular file so once you get this particular file you have to run one simple command called db2 haiku so this was the command db2 haiku minus f for file and specify the file so once you do that it created a domain it created a added a quorum device network at zero at one one became public one became private and added the database partition to that the cluster so this was the short tutorial on how to set up the the tsa for single node and for some reason you want you want to delete the tsa you should only run one single command db2 haiku minus delay so this is the command to get rid of our cluster so now if i run lsm no resource group so from this particular output we got this particular output the reason is we deleted our cluster so this was to delete our cluster 
now if the instance goes down it's not going to get no nobody is going to bring it up so if i do that again and if i kill this even after waiting for if i sleep for 10 seconds and then if i run this particular process command is nobody is going to get the db2cc process because our tsa is deactivated or we have deleted our tsa setup so let's sleep for 10 seconds and wait for this so you see db2cc process has not come up and if i do db2 list activity databases again that command is going to fail and it's say it's going to say no start database manager was initiated so let's do that as well just for a You see no start database command was issued now let me repeat what i have done so the command was db2 haiku minus f the file name xml file this was the file that i used and this particular file was a customized version of cd home slash db2p instance home directory slash sql lib slash samples slash ha slash xml and ls minus l so that's this is the file that i have used i hope this tutorial was useful this was the simplest tutorial to set up the cluster uh, on single node tsa to make sure that our single node uh, db2 instance is highly available and if instance process goes down then automatically the tsa cluster is going to bring it up thanks for watching bye bye and see you in the next tutorial thank you